I wanted to do this review a couple of months ago, but here's my Tesla X that I've been driving for about three years. This is a 2014 model. It is a 85 Model S Tesla, white exterior. I have about 20,000 miles on this car and I want to do a owner's review of this car. Here's the exterior. The key. Doesn't have self presenting doors. The handles come out. Just a quick shot of the inside. I'm pretty sure you guys saw a lot of videos already reviewing this vehicle. I want to give my thoughts on what I like about it, what I don't like about it after owning it for three years. Very spacious. Here's the dashboard, motor volume. And this one has, let's see, yeah, just over 20,000 miles on it. So, after owning a couple of vehicles, this I have to say is my favorite one Tesla S for several reasons but I'll just tell you guys after owning for three years why I really like about it and I just can't give up I mean a lot of people say it's the old electric yes yeah, that's, that's one of the main reasons but honestly the technology in this car is what really makes it special the exterior the interior is actually not that like over the top not that um, premium if you want to call it like my Lexus or Maserati um, the leather is just wraps around your body and you, you just feel very like premium luxury and this one it just feels like it just works basically your center console doesn't have the just has a hole in the middle and the really the big thing that I like about this car is the screen, obviously, but much more than that, like I just can't go back to a vehicle that doesn't have this map system. Doesn't have uh, I have to use my phone. Like if I'm on my Maserati, I have to use my phone to get anywhere. This is navigation that's built in sucks. I like the internet radio the best like you can find any music you want and they'll you can get it and it's free internet radio the only thing that's not good about it is you can't save some of your music that you like or playlist but I think it's fine it's better than XM radio another thing I like about it is the let me show you guys has cameras obviously and the safety on this car is very good another thing that I can't really go back on with if I go to another vehicle is the the power of this car like the acceleration instant torque the other thing that I really like about this vehicle is let me show you is the control system I mean you can control almost everything every aspect of this vehicle with this touch screen like you can open your front trunk unlock all your doors control your lights got steering here generation traction control and this is like a it's like basically an iPad 
that controls your vehicle and after driving this vehicle for three years I mean I just can't go back to an ICE vehicle yes the the, the only things I do miss about the um, ICE or older vehicles I have is that you don't get the sound some people like that I don't I don't really care for it and another thing that's very nice about this Tesla S you never need to go to a gas station I haven't been to a gas station for I think over two years and if I do stop by I just get a drink or something but never gas or yeah never need to go to a gas station that's another thing I like some of the things I thought um, would have been nice to know about this before purchasing was the um, electricity I thought that uh, it was gonna be a real hassle charging it every night but I found out that it's really not if you're driving it for only like 10 hours so I mean 10 miles a day you really don't need to get the 240 volt um, connection for your for your vehicle I mean you could if you drive it for only 20 miles a day you just plug it in at night leave it for 12 hours and you get a good charge off that another thing is the electricity bills a lot of people wondering what's the cost of ownership and it's really negligible I think I saw an increase of only $30 a month with electricity bills because I don't drive this very often another thing is the range anxiety yes you do have range anxiety in the beginning but once you get used to it it's not really that bad and the last thing I want to talk about is the like the regenerative braking is that what they call it I don't know if you take your foot off the gas pedal that can be very um, something that you have to get used to but there's an option to take that off and I think you sell settle in better if you have that option of turning it um, turning creep on or power regeneration off I mean lower that'll help so that was a quick review of this uh, Tesla S that I've been driving for the last three years overall if I had to buy it again yes I would and I'll get a, the Model X I think I test drove it the other week and I like it a lot better the exterior isn't as nice but I think the overall features of that one will be much better than the S in terms of drivability I think the S yes it does have better handling and speed but the model X I think has all the features that I uh, want in an electric vehicle also it will have autopilot too this one only has autopilot does not have autopilot I purchased this before they actually um, had all those upgrades but that was a quick review stay tuned for the model X